So on this uh, snowy New Brunswick day, uh, this is going to be a threefold quick podcast to say a thank you to all the supporters of my uh, podcast channel, JJ Governor Corrier. Uh, many of those people have gone on my uh, podcast and left comments and give a subscribe are uh, either my former readers or my current supporters. When I started as a uh, print journalist, uh, technically, in 1983, when I was uh, working as a uh, uh, volunteer for our uh, newspaper at Dalhousie Regional High, went on to college and also started with Dalhousie News in 86. The readers back then, my family, my friends, the supporters, threw a lot of uh, uh, backing to my career and have continued to do so uh, for the past uh, 33 years. Now, for those who have never heard of me, all five of you, uh, <laughs> Uh, I started uh, with uh, Dalhousie News and the Kodokan Publishing in 1986. I was with uh, that company for eight years before we were bought out by the Camelton Tribune. I was a uh, staff reporter, I was a freelance reporter, uh, sports columnist, uh, photojournalist. And when the uh, Camelton Tribune bought us out in 1994, I worked with the uh, Terry Rabin uh, led company uh, for the Tribune uh, from uh, up until uh, 2008 and uh, my duties through years have been multiple fold uh, you know movie columnists and TV columnists were added later on uh, investigative reporter photojournalist photo essayist uh, I did some layout uh, with the um, Bugle Observer when uh, we uh, I moved down here as sports editor for the paper and through the years, like I said, nothing but great support from the different people. Now I'm involved in the Secrets of the Dam project as the public relations person for Jim A. Shaw's book series. It's been great so far, uh, doing various podcasts on the book which are available on the uh, podcast channel. But uh, the reason why I'm supporting Jimmy on this project is because uh, I believe that creators, be the uh, book writers, uh, musicians, singers need to be supported by by us in the print media, and that's why I'm involved with the project. So if you want to go on the uh, the uh, YouTube channel, there's I think uh, two dozen podcasts on the Secrets of the Dam series. We're also going to be posting something on our new uh, audiobook with Nora Agau, who is a, a great uh, voice actress. She's working on that. So uh, January uh, 2019 has been busy, but February will be more busy. We're looking at uh, various uh, outreach, including public readings. Uh, the uh, audiobook will be available through various means. And uh, if anybody wants to find out about Secrets of the Dam Project, uh, JJ Carrier for me on Facebook, Jim Shaw for uh, Jim on Facebook, Secrets of the Damned uh, on Facebook, uh, all, uh, all, all ready to uh, for your comment, your like, your suggestions. But I may, I'm, I must say this: uh, when you're starting a new career, in my case, there's a reason I'm no longer with Brunswick News, and I'm going to be totally honest with you. I took a diabetic seizure covering a Matt Stairs fundraiser in 2012, and eventually led me to uh, go on sick leave for a while. I made a proposal to come back to the Irvings, and unfortunately due to monetary and fiscal decisions by uh, Jamie Irving, who I basically think is running the company in the ground, I was not uh, rehired. He offered me 20 hours a week in Moncton, right over my old job in Woodstock, a desperately uh, stupid decision on their part. I could have uh, added value to all the papers in Brunswick News, which are, the staffs here are quite good, but Jamie decided through his minions not to bring me back. They're lost. I'm working for you guys now in free media. Uh, the Canterbury Home Office is going good, and uh, I must say the uh, the Irving group of papers have uh, basically lost their community feel. Uh, the layout of all the papers has been been terrible. They've taken away uh, what the Tribune, Northern Light, all the papers used to look like. I used to work for, was proud to work for. There's still good staff there, but uh, in their case, it's uh, there's a uneven feel with the community papers. Now, uh, as we go along in 2019, I will be making other announcements on different aspects of my extended media career. Keep tuned for that. And as we like to say in Gravel Hill, New Brunswick, uh, you got to keep your stick on the ice. I feel so fortunate to have my vision back, 
to have my vision back about my journalism career. And uh, I feel very ba bad that I'm not working on behalf of the great readers in Woodstock, Sussex, Hamilton, Bathurst, uh, Miramichi, all the great areas I've worked for before, uh, Perth, Andover, Tobik area. I feel bad now. I look at sports sections uh, in the various papers, like for example, the Bugle are down to four pages a week, maybe five. I had 16. I was doing the advertiser uh, using a lot of the, the sports and entertainment coverage as a, uh, as a complete uh, paper for the advertiser. That's all gone. And anyway, I'm not, uh, by the way, I'm not bitter. No sense to be bitter because I've had a great career. It's still ongoing. But uh, Jamie Irving, Irving's decision to call the herd, as we say, laying off his staff reporters, uh, laying off the veteran reporters, not renewing your contracts, uh, bad vision for community papers in the province. My vision is here for you. I'm working for all my community supporters. I will never stop working on your behalf. I tell you the truth. And if anybody thinks that the newspapers, community papers are better under Jamie Irving, well, that's your opinion. But uh, when you go from best newspaper in Canada with the Bugle in the, the early 2010s and look what it is now with three uh, very good reporters, but their hands are tied. I can say that because my hands are not tied. Uh, can you imagine if we had the current staff of the Bugle and the previous staff of the Bugle working together? Imagine what the great things we could accomplish, like six or seven reporters. Uh, I think we would. Anyway, so on this uh, snowy Sunday, have a great day and be careful out there. And uh, I hope everything is well on your part because let me tell you, I appreciate every one of my readers, every one of my uh, future listeners, and I... Uh, I just love doing what I do on your behalf. Have a good one. Bye.